you don't have to watch LDL. You need to be watching cardiovascular inflammation. And therefore, lower dose statins, as we all know, have fewer side effects anyway. This is the, uh, the last uh, video. It's number five, I think, in um, the series on statins. They kill. Um, and I take them. <clears throat> this video is going to be hopefully a little bit shorter, but uh, maybe not. You know how I tend to go on. Basically, it has to do with uh, one of the critical points of the way I practice and when I recommend statins. I don't recommend statins for people that have uh, risk less than 10%. Um, most doctors recommend statins, and they'll go to high doses as well for people with 10% or higher. That's actually this group, this uh, uh, group in yellow here. We'll talk about what that means in just a minute. Actually, what we're going to be doing is focusing on the interaction between a CIMT showing that you have more than normal plaque in your arteries and uh, the fact that once you have that kind of risk, once you have more than normal plaque in your arteries, your risk is high enough to where statins do help. All this stuff about absolute versus relative risk really makes a difference if you're low risk, less than 10%. But once you get to 20%, most docs will recommend it. That 20% is based on standard risk factors like Framingham. Um, here's, again, the beauty of a CIMT. If you have a risk, uh, I mean, if you have a plaque, not obstructing the flow of, the, well, if you have a, flat, a plaque and it obstructs the, the flow of the artery, then your risk is 80% over the next 10 years of having an event. That's the, what you get with a normal carotid ultrasound. What's different about CIMT? It tells you if you have uh, more than normal risk, even though it's not blocking the, the flow. And here's what we know from previous studies. If you have that, your risk is 40%. So all of a sudden, again, that risk is so high that this concern about relative versus absolute risk is just, it's not a concern. Here's a, uh, so folks like David Diamond, who say it's all about absolute versus relative, and the guys that are quoting uh, these 25% drops are, uh, they're liars using statistics. No, they're not. Not at uh, these higher levels. And again, they're talking 10% or higher. I'm talking 40%, um, not even in the same ballpark. If someone doesn't have plaque, uh, here's my practice. If someone does not have higher than normal plaque, in their arteries. I don't recommend statins. So as you can see uh, here, that's a significant risk factor for those folks. Here's another difference between what I do versus the standard uh, uh, cardiologist or other primary care docs that uh, do recommend statins. I rarely go with the higher dose statins because I'm not uh, looking at um, LDL. I don't think LDL is a significant risk. Cardiovascular inflammation, on the other hand, is the risk. Now, why does that, uh, why does that impact these decisions about statin use? Well, here's why. Low-dose statins, like low-dose Crestor, will impact cardiovascular inflammation. You don't have to watch LDL. You need to be watching cardiovascular inflammation. And therefore, lower-dose uh, statins, as we all know, have fewer side effects anyway. So again, this got into CIMT and statins. I think we'll be finishing it up with one more video talking about Rory uh, Collins and uh, the numbers that they saw in terms of risks versus benefits of statins. Thank you very much for your interest. If you hit the uh, like button, and for sure if you subscribe or share, the algorithm reads that as a strong message that humans think this is interesting and important information. And the algorithm can share it more than any of us humans. Speaking of uh, sharing, uh, the, one of the best ways of sharing is on social media. We've got active Facebook, Instagram, and uh, LinkedIn activities going on right now. We've recently started up things in uh, Pinterest and uh, Twitter, so we'd love to see you there. Check us out. Finally, um, uh, with over 500 videos, a lot of people are saying, 
I can't find this video or that video. Our new social media uh, manager, Kim Hermosa, is starting to work on ways to help with that. So join the community. Uh, you can click on the links below and um, you can get a little bit better uh, access. Thank you again for your interest.